JITSIG aims to be the preferred global network of advanced tax administrations to work together collaboratively and to facilitate and operationalise the sharing of intelligence relating to operational tax administration matters. So we look to uh, come together multilaterally and take a real practical focus to issues. We do this through having members who are very engaged in and willingly and frequently share information. We take a collaborative approach, both collaborating with our members and with other international initiatives. We take a very operational approach to our, our activities. So we look to pursue activities that focus on practical taxpayer, industry or issue specific um, matters. We also are very connected in our thinking, so we like to, whilst having that practical focus, uh, make sure we're cognizant of the, the big picture and take, take account of the, uh, the broader global tax perspective that we're operating in and also make sure we uh, get ideas and take uh, views from, from a broad range of perspectives. Um, and finally, we're very outcome oriented. So by looking at practical issues, we also strive to deliver outcomes and, 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 and uh, deliverables that our members can use in a very practical way in their local um, tax administrations and that also provide a, a practical benefit to the broader forum on tax administration. The way that JITSIC works is um, by taking quite a uh, a broad approach to our activities. Uh, we do have a strong track record of facilitating the exchange of information throughout for our member jurisdictions um, and sharing intelligence, but we're not just an EOI network. We also have um, a demonstrated ability to mobilise tax administrations in leading projects which have a practical focus and deliver those practical benefits that I mentioned. But again, we're not just an umbrella body that oversees projects. Rather, what we do to deliver practical benefits in a timely way for our members is we look to undertake the actions that are most appropriate to the issue at hand. So in addition to EOI and, and projects, we could also have a variety of other activities such as rapid responses, uh, joint audits, or even things like uh, webinars, for example. So a, a range of, uh, we take a range of approaches depending on what's most appropriate. And to do all of these things effectively, uh, JITSIC has to be well informed. It has to be agile, contemporary, and at times creative. Uh, we rely very heavily on our members and in particular, uh, making sure we're very well connected. We use what we call a SPOC network, which is our network of single point of contacts for each of our member jurisdictions and rely on them to freely and frequently share information amongst themselves. We also rely on our secretariat to keep us informed as to the broader goings on across the OECD and make sure we're connected to that. And finally, we rely on our advisory group, which is a subset of our members who we look to to uh, provide advice and direction and to help prioritise those issues which warrant further JITSIC action. And the, the issues that might require further action are those which um, the members uh, have identified, but which have a broader interest than just the members themselves. For example, they might be issues affecting a number of our tax jurisdictions, or they might be early warnings as to bigger trends. And where these issues arise and they come to the attention of our advisory group, we look to see what uh, we can do to deliver some practical benefits to the broader membership group and not just the particular jurisdiction that's raised the issue. We do believe that the best outcomes are achieved through working together by pooling our resources and sharing intelligence, we can uh, collectively achieve better outcomes than what we can do on our own. And just to give you a recent example of where that, uh, that, that does demonstrate that point, um, I'll look to our recent project on the Panama Papers work. Now, this was a project where we actually um, historically brought together 30 tax jurisdictions to come together and at the same time, within established legal frameworks, share information in this multilateral setting. 
uh, we had the 30 administrations together sharing the information and then working in separate projects as well within that, within that broader Panama Papers project uh, to deliver uh, specific practical outcomes for all of our member jurisdictions. The Panama Papers project was able to deliver some real practical benefits for our members including uh, collectively building a greater understanding of the kinds of structures used to avoid uh, tax and also arming our members with the tools to detect those structures into the future, not just relying on future data leaks, but to, to, to identify them in their day-to-day -day administration. We've also uh, delivered a strategy for our members uh, that they can then use to disrupt intermediaries who might seek to facilitate the avoidance of tax for their clients. Um, the work we did on the project also um, resulted in improved practices for sharing information, particularly in a multilateral context, or where we've got big, uh, big requests for sharing of information. So we delivered some real benefits there in making that more efficient. And finally, it did give our members the tools, processes and relationships uh, in and set those in place so that should there be any future data leaks, we're ready to go to respond in a very efficient and timely manner. So all in all, it was a great example of how coming together and working collaboratively can really achieve real benefits.